What's up everybody, my name is Jay and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today I want to talk about rumors. Rumors about the next gen of Ryzen processors, the 3000 series running the Zen 2 architecture. So there's been some rumors coming out and I want to talk about a couple things. Number one, I want to talk about these rumors because they're very promising and I hope they are true. And I also want to take a moment to also talk about the reality and like, you know, how likely and how possible this is uh, given where we're at currently in the state of you know technology and how well things are progressing. So I want to talk about a few things, talk about the likelihood of things coming out, and of course talk about these rumors. So, y'all are wondering, what's the rumors? And I'm sure you've already seen the title. So, 16 cores on AM4. So, that means a lot of different things, not really. It means we're getting 16 cores, probably 32 threads, all on AM4, uh, support on there. I don't know how they're going to power it. I'm really interested to see how they power that, but um, yeah, so the rumor is that we're going to see those 16 cores, 32 threads on AM4. Now this is going to be running Zen 2, this will be 7 nanometers, and this is going to be a CPU that is going to be pretty much equivalent uh, around the same way as the Threadripper 1950X, which I will be interested to see how well it performs uh, if these are true. So let's also talk about the clock speeds, because the clock speeds are the next interesting part. So the first rumor, there's a couple different rumors going on, and I want to take a second to talk about this. This is where we're really going to get into the actuality and how likely this is. So we've got ourselves a 4.0 base clock speed while 4.5 boost clock speed. Now, let me just take a moment to talk about a couple things. Number one, keep in mind if this is, we're not sure, and the rumor didn't specify if this was all core, single core, double core, doesn't specify. So, likely enough, I would be willing to bet that, yes, at 7 nanometers, things will run a lot faster. I'm not surprised, but I also think heat will run an issue. Now, keep in mind, we're kind of practically cutting it in half from where the 1950X was, so you can fit, uh, you know, double the amount of processors in the same space. You can fit, you know, double, uh, or not processors, sorry, cores, in the same amount of space. You can kind of shrink it down to get double the performance of that. I'm sure that goes on even, there's more performance you get out of it, but just just say in light terms that you, you know, you, you're shrinking the die size, shrinking the transistor size uh, by twofold so that you have the, where the 1950X, you're practically, you can fit two times as much stuff in that space. So it doesn't seem out of likely that they can do that in the AM4 platform. It doesn't seem that, you know, I, I definitely would expect 16 cores from AMD on AM4, at least by the time uh, AM4 is just finishing up being supported. Now, it really gets curious, though, is the 4.5 gigahertz boost clock or and the 4.0 gigahertz base clock. So, while at 7 nanometers, we're lo um, it's really difficult to say because at 4.0 gigahertz, um, that's about what the Threadripper boosted up to, the 1950X. And I would be willing to say that since we're putting this on a smaller die size, there's less space to get that heat away, I'd be willing to say that it's going to be difficult. Now, obviously, you'll get efficiency uh, boosts, and you'll get you know better efficiency from it, and I wouldn't be surprised to see that as a boost clock on maybe one to two cores, which is still great and awesome. I just think that maybe a 4.0 base clock would seem very possible, while a two core or one core boost up to 4.5 is definitely likely. Now I'm not saying overclocking you could up, get up there if you had substantial cooling and I definitely think it will be a great processor for overclocking especially with a lot of headroom from 7 nanometers but I definitely do expect to see something along the lines of either you know seeing this as a very good overclocking processor or seeing the 4.5 strictly for those two cores. So I also want to talk about a little bit about some other stuff. So obviously, since we're getting this double uh, high-end processor and the 2000 series, uh, at the time of this video, there's been a lot of rumors about a 12-core uh, 2600 or a 10-core 2000, or, or not 600, 2800 X. And um, there's been a lot of rumors of that, either a 10-core or a 12-core. And I'd be willing to say, at the time of this video, if we don't have a release of a 10-core uh, processor within, the, but before Christmas, at the time of this video, this is October, if we don't have a 10-core processor from AMD 2800X released before Christmas, I'd be willing to say that that will be definitely something we can expect next. I would be surprised to see maybe a 3600X be something along the lines of either a 12-core or 10 core, and I'd be willing to say definitely a 12 core for the 2700X, and then the top, or three, sorry, 3700X, and for the top, for the 3800X, I definitely would be expecting to see those 16 cores, which would be quite a powerful machine. Now, it also brings me to the question of what is anyone going to do with all this power? Like, I understand there's a lot of streaming stuff going on, but you're getting to the point now where it doesn't really need to be, there's, there's no point. 
And I think that that's what I'm kind of afraid of, is that if AMD is really pushing Intel uh, really hard, I mean, yeah, I'll use, I'll, I'll probably end up buying the 3800X if it had 16 cores. Heck yeah! But I definitely think that it's kind of difficult for the average person that's not editing 4K video, that's just maybe even streaming every once in a while. I mean, a 2600X will do insane for that. I just, I don't see the log logicalness of that. And I definitely think that, since I don't see that, I think AMD will see that as well, which raises the question, is any of this really going to happen? Or is it just going to be a really high-end processor, uh, maybe even 2900X, similar to what they did with the Threadripper, the high-end Threadripper, the uh, 2990WX, uh, maybe similar, something like that, we'd see a 2900X that would come out that would have those 16 cores. Uh, I definitely could see that as well. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. I also want to thank you all, um, and maybe can also offer you to check out uh, my other computer builds and mods and things like that. But as always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you uh, for stopping this video, and as always, goodbye.